here is a around nine dollar webcam. You can buy it at Fry's. There are a few things that are common to webcams. One thing is the optics. You have the optics, uh, which actually can comprise of about four small. It looks like plastic, or maybe small. It may be glass. Um, lenses inside at different positions. You have a sensor, which is what picks up the colors and the light and whatever behind the, the optics. You have a circuit board that processes that information. And then you have, actually have a mechanical component in here, which is the screw, and this actually focuses it. So the first thing we need to do is take it apart. And that's my favorite thing to do. I'm gonna be careful with it. Okay, so what you have here is, this is um, probably the, the processor chip. This is an integrated circuit that, that processes the image. I'm not really sure what type of processor that is, but it's interesting that they, they don't hide it, hide the information, and in a lot of cases they do, in a lot of electronics. I'm gonna try to take this out, but I think I need to take these two screws out first. This, well, since it's out open, this is the sensor that's inside. This really shouldn't be exposed because you can, if you, any speck of dust or whatever gets on there, then you're gonna see it. All right, so let me put this one back on there. Because this is actually pretty important. This is your screw mechanism. This is the uh, female side. So, so they, they use this screw, screw mechanism to bring the lenses in and out, so you'll, you'll be able to focus it in sort of any, um, any field that you want. They have it set, and you know, when I was turning this, I noticed that I was turning the whole thing, so actually it may have been focusing, and they may have given the ability to focus. All right, so this is the basic um, piece. And you can see that this, this um, cylinder here has all of the optics in it. And I'm gonna show you the, the simple way to do the mi microscope, and then I'm gonna show you a much better way, actually, at the end. Because the way the optics are set inside of this cylinder, you have to have the unit actually really close to the, to the actual thing you're, you're, um, you're filming or you're, you're videoing to be able to get a clear focus and uh, and get the same magnification at the same time now if you adjust or change the optics inside which it already has all the optics you need to do that you can actually bring it out and have the same magnification at the same focal focus so it's just changing the uh, the lenses inside so i'm going to plug this in and see what we get I've already installed the software, as I said before. I didn't want that to be a hiccup if I was going to do it here in a, in a short amount of time. Good call. So it's plugged in. It should be, um, Windows should be recognizing it. It says web camera is plugged in. And you guys may want to change your location. I'm going to use um, a program called AMCAP. That's what was installed with this. You can see. We have very little focus. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use you. Do you mind being on camera? Not as long as I'm that badly focused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use the light over there, that's better. All right, see as I turn, as I turn this, um, this cylinder with the optics in it, you can get a pretty good focus. And it, it's really actually kind of, um, it's very sensitive. So I can move it about this much and you're out of focus already. So as, as simple as it is, you can just go right here and, and just start focusing it. Let's, let's see, I brought this just as an example of small things. You have to go pretty far out. Oh, that's absolutely cool. You know, this is... Wow, just ambient lighting too, no problem. Yeah, and it, it, the auto, ex, auto exposure is... Looks like you might be a hair close, there you go. So you really need some kind of device to stabilize it. Yeah, I have one at home. I didn't bring a CNC machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
if I'm doing pick and, pick and place, it would be really well, really good, actually. <laughs> yeah. So I can I'm going to show you some errors that I have here when I was reflowing this board. So you can see that's a problem. And you can also I mean this is really good for inspection. You can see that the solder joints are uh, they're okay on this side. Um, but if I go over here, you can see they're much better. Yeah. See, now it's, this particular one right here doesn't look as good, so. What would you say that magnification is? I have no clue. 40, maybe? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot more than any magnifier, magnifying lens that I have. And you can see it auto, um, the exposure is automatic. Wow. And you can see it's pretty, and I can get it even, even tighter. Now, I'm going to show you, you can see how close I have it, right? It's pretty close. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit too close to the, to the circuit board here that I'm trying to magnify. Now if I change the optics, I'm gonna go ahead and t show you the appearance because my other camera is already set for, for that with different optics. You've already adjusted the lenses adjusted. in here? Yes. This is the same um, yeah. camera. Okay. Um, what I did is I changed the optics. I think I may have removed a couple lenses. So I'm actually able to get out. Randomly or did you have a plan? Oh, yeah. it was random, completely random. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, how did you find lenses the right size? You so now you can see how <laughs> now you can see I'm, I'm at least a couple centimeters farther back, yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm going to go just a little bit closer in, and you can see I'm still farther back. I have a, a bit of a difference in mm -hmm. the quality that I have over there, but I, because I think I probably three times as far as you were initially. Yeah, and I think it's because I took out the IR filter or whatever filter they have in there. But actually, it looks pretty good. I think it's about the same. And if I change the optics again, I know I was able to actually get out to about this far, but the, um, the quality was a little bit too grainy, and I wasn't able to get as good a picture, so I put some optics back in there. But you can also see with the different optics, I can even go closer in and get even more detail. So I'm pretty much dead on now. I'm going to go ahead and show you what lenses are inside, just for kicks. I don't know if I will be able to put it back in the right way, but... <laughs> Alright, so this piece right here comes off, or... Wait, none of this screws off. Yeah. Alright, so I have to keep it. This, thing's, this stuff just starts falling out. <laughs> so you have to be careful. See, that's out. That, this is the, the filter. filter. Yeah, and I'm going to take this out because I'm not sure if I need it. I don't know what, what the difference is. Is that gold? I think it's gold plated. One atom thick gold on there. Yeah. For nine it's bucks. It's front surface. <laughs> <laughs> All for nine bucks. Yeah. It's amazing. And then the other stuff just starts falling out. Let's, let's see if we can. We can you ought to put it in order. Retain, yeah, retain the order. <laughs> now, I don't know if it's the same this way or this way. So, <laughs> how else would you find out which way it works better? Well, that's, that killed it. Well, I think this was, it was, was underneath. Yeah, Backward. this is underneath. Do you want to rewind the film? And then you have, actually, this has nothing in it. So, this was inside. <laughs> and then you have one more, which it probably doesn't really matter if you get this out or not. Okay, so you have two more. Is that oh, what wait, they wait. do? The, yeah. the, the uh, Hubble, whenever they're taking it apart, they <laughs> jam the lens. <laughs> well, you know, I'm thinking this is actually only protection. This is the one of the lenses, mm -hmm. and this is the thing that I've been scratching up, so I don't think it's really that important. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed. And you have another Very spacer easy. here, <laughs> and this is the spacer for this one, and then you have the one that's in the back. And I'm not sure if this is even... Yeah, this is, yeah, this is definitely, oh, definitely, yeah. I can definitely see a change. And this is too, yeah. yeah they're all... So I'm going to just put in... <laughs> so we have three, um... Three, three lenses random there. lenses. Yeah, three random lenses. <laughs> <laughs> in a random order. <laughs> this is how things get done. Come on. Look like canal. I 
You can see it's like a fisheye now, and that's kind of interesting also, isn't it? So you took out the middle edge and put the big front one back in. Yeah. I just have the front and the back.